Welcome back to the show, everyone. Well, I've been trying to get some information from our next guest. He's not telling me anything, but I know one of the things that he is allowed to know is the upcoming uh, new route being revealed by the Vancouver International Marathon. So, uh, well, if you we'll want see to if find we can get out, out anything about <laughs> running, of course, the go-to place is the running room. We're with the founder, John Stanton. How are you, John? Hey, John, how are you? It's great so to be here. So you've had a preview of what they're announcing. I think it's October 15th they're yeah. announcing the new route for the Vancouver Marathon. And it's going to be an exciting day. I can tell you that much. And, and the runners are going to be uh, very, very Ecstatic. pleased. Yeah. I mean, all the negative things that, about the old course, yeah. they've addressed. And all the positive aspects of the new, new course fit in with those who are marathoners understand that it, it's that last 10 kilometers. Yeah. And, and I think this new course is going to profile the city. It's going to... Look at you. Yeah, tease us I, with I get, this. I get very excited about it. And, well, and I would so love to spill the beans, but to we're sworn to see. You're going to be in deep trouble yeah. if you spill the beans. Now, we brought you here specifically today because yeah. you have a brand new running room opening on Camby Street and you are uh, helping to build a new Ronald McDonald house. Yes, uh, tell us are. how people can get involved. Well, they can get involved tomorrow night, come down. There's a 2.5K or 5K uh, runner walk. Everybody that starts and has the courage to finish gets a medal. We'll present them with a medal at the finish. Uh, there's food. There's all the other activities going on. And it's $10 and all of the $10 go to Ronald McDonald House. Oh, that's great. Yeah, the, the original house here was built in, in 1983, I believe it was. It's had over 10,000 families go through it yeah. and and there's a need for a new one and they announced that they they're going to build a new one uh, which is greatly needed here yeah. in Vancouver it'll be the second biggest one in Canada when it's done well and because we're lucky to have such great medical facilities here oh. specifically for children and families yeah. uh, that often means that people are traveling from from outside and that's where Ronald that's, McDonald oh, House really it's, it's just a brilliant if you have ever been to Ronald McDonald House you need to yeah. go there because it, it's hard touching to go mm -hmm. there and you see the families and and we know that their recoveries from the children that are being treated at the children hospital is 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 much faster yeah. than their family units around them and and they have that protective that, uh, that uh, thing that they can be there uh, so anyone can come 10 bucks all 10 the money bucks, goes to all the money goes McDonald. to Ronald McDonald house and uh, it's gonna be a nice evening I mean I, I was re I'm watching the weather coming in yeah. it's like, like whoa, uh -oh, it's, uh -oh. it's pretty and pretty you here today because but, you know a lot of times people run during the, the summer and and yeah. then I know with me specifically, when it rains, it's not just an excuse for me. I hate <laughs> running in the rain. But if you have the right gear, it can Makes be a, a lot more difference. enjoyable. So tell us about uh, running gear uh, for the rain and how you can switch it up and make well, it a better experience. A couple of things. One, you want to be visible. You know, so reflectivity is really important. And it used to be, you know, you, you had to wear, you know, one of the running jackets with the big strips on them. Today, if you look at this, uh, this is a, the pink ribbon line of clothing that we have. Which is fantastic. And, and the, uh, this well. one, this pink, is actually reflectivity on it. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's, it's sort of a nice fashion statement. You've got the pink ribbon on it, but it's, it's also white in color. So in the darkness, it's going to stand out, and then the reflectivity also stands out. Uh, I also want to show you this shirt because this is a really interesting yeah. shirt. If you've run in the wintertime, often in, in around our belly button is what yeah. gets cold. Yeah. And if you notice, there's an extra layer in there. Okay. That's this just around your belly button. Yeah. Just, just around just your belly around button. Around it's, like, it's a belly protection it's system. It's a belly protection system, which is really important. <laughs> you are speaking to experts yeah. on this. Yeah. But it's really true. I mean, anyone who's run in the cold knows it's that. It's the Lord. Yeah. You stay warm up above, yeah. but as the sweat drips down and, and it's not wicked away. You get the away, chill factor. You get the chill factor. You get chill. Well, that's yeah. just... Yes, isn't it brilliant? And is, yeah. this, one, is, is this reflective too for That's the guys? reflectivity yeah. as well. And, and of course, even the caps today are reflective. Uh, you want to have a light so that you can turn that on. And more so that you're visible. Yeah. You know, as a runner, you're, you, you take accountable for your own safety out there. Yeah. That, that's who has to be accountable for that. So you, you have to judge and watch for cars and what have you. But the light isn't as much to see where you're going as for you to be seen. For that's what's really important. Yeah. And they come in various things. You can have that size right up to here. You can have the big so ones. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the other thing that's important oh. be, uh, because oh, is my, body glide. My you, kiss, the body glide John, you only have to have <laughs> this happen once that's before right. you will never want to have it happen Mike, you're talking about your chafing. Chafing. nipples. Yes, you Chafing. can actually wear your nipple away yes, almost you can. completely. And you you look like number 11 when you come back, you know, you've got <laughs> it's two red dots. If anybody's going down. seen uh, no joke runners yeah. coming across the finish line for marathons who haven't used stuff like this 
uh, it's a serious thing. Well, it is, yeah. and particularly when you shower afterwards, that's when oh, the oh, factor that's when sets you know. in. You know, so yeah. a simple solution to that is body glide. And can, does that help for any kind of chafing? Because well, it does. Get it under yeah, the arms. under the arm, between yeah. the legs, and for women, often along the bra line is is where they yeah. chafe up. Right. So again, body light, glide is very important. I can the other thing is second skin. It's called new skin. Yeah. And this is really good because often people get a blister and they get a little blister, and it's the day before the big race. Well, what they do is they lance that blister and then put a coating of this on. It's kind of like crazy glue over top of that, it but it, it, yeah. it helps seal that, but it's also breathable, so it, hel it helps in, in the healing process, but if you have a blister, you put it, this on, you, you have no more discomfort anymore. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's actually a good little trick. And the final thing I always want to remind people of is water. Uh, Take great. water, because sometimes pouring rain, you know, you're drenched out there, you don't think about your thirst mechanism kicking in, but yet you're still dehydrating. You're still losing moisture through your perspiration, through mm -hmm. your breathing, and staying well hydrated will allow you to maintain your performance to its optimum and, level. And when you go into a running room, there is a whole wall. There are a variety <laughs> of ways that you can carry your water, whether you there like is. it in five little packages yeah. or whether camel you like it in one, everything. camel bags, yeah, because everybody's unique on that. Yeah, we all have. Um, uh, I, I just want to, oh, you have the pink ribbon socks again as well you were yeah. looking at, but this is a marvelous tool that Fiona was just holding up. And yeah. for a lot of people that uh, suffer tightness after they run, this is... Uh, yeah, it's called the stick, and the stick is a marvelous thing. It's everything from, uh, you know, your calf muscle, which you can loosen up just by doing that. Yeah. You know, your your quads and hamstrings can IT be loosened band up with this. It band, and it's sort of self-massage. If you don't have a buddy to give you a massage, uh, this right. is the the stick. This will do the trick. <laughs> well, John, always such a pleasure. And of course, John uh, happens to have written a couple of books, and we have an opportunity for you to win running or walking. You can email for your chance to win at Urban Rush at Shaw. And to help raise money to build a new Ronald McDonald House in Vancouver, you can take part in a great fun event. Run or walk, you meet at the Camby Street, the brand new store on Camby, uh, running room location on Wednesday, September 28th. That's tomorrow, 6 p.m. And uh, you can have a great evening. And I just want to mention as well, every time you open a store, you do a celebration like this and we donate do. the money. Yeah, and it goes, goes right back into the community. Great celebration Thank you for so you, much, the community. Thanks for having us. Thanks. We're going to take a quick